Hi guys and happy new year. Welcome to a walkthrough of our first property of the year um, that we're, we're about to list. Um, this is a two bed, two bath detached villa here on Latori Golf Resort. And as you can see, incredibly close to the town centre, which is literally just there. So you're a 30 second walk from the supermarket, 30 second walk from the town centre. You literally could not be any more central. We're gonna have a little walk through this now. And as always, I'll point out things that I think is uh, important to you um, that you should know. Um, again, um, as you know, with the videos that, that we do here, um, it's, it's, not, it's not the same as anywhere else that's, that, get, you know, that does them. Um, we don't just play nice music and, and show you all the lovely bits. Um, I walk around as if you were here basically with me. So we're going to have a little walk around now. So as I say, in terms of location, it's about as central as you can get. Town centre is literally just there. Um, supermarket, literally just around that corner. So it's literally as central to the resort as you could get. Um, so let's have a walk through, see what you think. As with, all, as with all villas here, you have your own off-street parking here. Um, the pergola looks in relatively good condition. I mean, anybody that owns properties here um, knows that you kind of have to do them at least every two years or so, um, just to keep on top of them, because of course the sun is so strong here. All right, let's have a little walk through. So this is a Sabina, two bed, two bath. So as always, this is the entrance to the villa here. If I turn right, this brings you up to the big rooftop solarium, okay? So we'll stay inside first of all. So again, as you walk in, you're walking into this lovely hallway area, which again, it's only this style villa that does this, you know, that has this kind of nice hallway area here. So you've got like your big double doors that go to the lounge off to the left and the rest of the house pretty much is on this side. So this is, uh, this is always lovely, I think, to walk into a nice hallway instead of walking straight into a room. So let's start this side, okay? So literally as you walk through the front door, turn right, this is your kitchen, okay? Now the Sabina kitchens are excellent, I think. Very, very usable, nice worktop space. And then you've also got a separate utility, which we'll look at in a sec. Everything in. So as always, you've got your, your oven hob hood there, fridge freezer just over here in this area. You can see the microwave toasters, etc., and your dishwasher down here, okay? It is the original fittings. Okay, on the, all of this here is the original fittings. So it depends, if you're using it as a holiday home, right? It's, it's absolutely fine. If you're spending more and more time here or moving here full time, then you might want to update them. But all in very nice condition, all clean and tidy. And like I said, you've got the utility here, just off the kitchen, completely separate. Okay, these actual shutters can come up here as well. So this is just another, you can obviously just get out, out from, the, from the house from this door as well if you wished. Um, they've, uh, they've kind of put like a perspex, no, I think it's glass actually, they've actually put like a, a glass filler here, um, as you can see, it's not actually got a frame on it, but it's actually fitted in very well into the wall, so that's kind of completely closed in. That's good because it just means a lot of dust and a lot of rain and stuff doesn't come into utility. Gas boiler, that's a combi boiler, as always again on, um, on Latari, you've always got gas combi boilers, that's for your hot water and your central heating, and as you can see, a washing machine just there. So good start, everything is, is, like I say, everything is in good condition. You know, there's, I can't see any marks on walls or any damage anywhere um, as I'm going through this house. Right, out of the kitchen, turn right. So again, you've got this kind of hallway area here, master bedroom to the right, bathroom, family bathroom just there to the left and bedroom two directly ahead. So we'll start at the master. So as you walk in, you have this kind of hallway area, if you like, quite a long, narrow hallway area. Ensuite directly ahead, which as you can see, these guys have put a, a shower unit in. So again, sink, cabinet, originals. Toilet over here, BD over here. And like I say on all the videos, BDs, you know, you find that most people take them out, um, you know, because you can just use that as a cabinet for, for stacking towels and, and whatnot. But again, you know, great size. Both bathrooms in these villas are, are really good sizes, the ensuite and the family bathroom. And then coming back out again, straight into the master. So you've got a double bed there. Yeah, it's not a storage, a standard double. Fan light up there as well. And you'll see your bedside cabinets. And then your view from here is directly out to the garden which we'll get to shortly. 
Again, another nice idea for these villas, and, and quite a lot of people do it, is take these windows out and put doors there. It just gives you direct access out to the garden. It's not that expensive to do either. Um, noticeable, there's no AC in here, so there is pre-installation of course, but no AC unit at all in the bedroom. Okay, inbuilt wardrobes again as standard. Coming out the ensuite, right and right again. So this is the family bathroom. This is a really good size bathroom. So again, toilet bead over here, sink over here. You've got a full size bath. And as you can see, they've put, these guys have put a glass screen in. I can hear a, a fan has obviously been fitted in here at some point as well. An extractor fan. Out into bedroom two. So again, another good size double. Obviously I've not mentioned it, but there is gas central heating throughout. That's on all properties here on the Torrey. So this one has been set up as two singles. Again, view straight out to the garden. And again, like I said, what you can do is actually take the windows out, put doors in. It just means that everyone has access to the garden directly from the bedrooms. Again, you can see a fan light's been put in here. So if I turn around, the pre-installation is there, but the actual unit itself isn't, okay? So just bear that in mind if you wanna put the AC units in the bedrooms. Um, we can obviously arrange all that for you. Just let us know if you need uh, any quotes or any help with this. Okay, let's head round to the main part, the lounge and the garden. So this is obviously your, your enter, entrance into the villa here. Straight out here into the lounge. And again, this, this is probably my favorite room of any villas. The Sabina villas are really lovely, lovely high ceilings. And you've got all these little windows all around the top as well. Just the room is always so lovely and bright and you can always put these lovely big hanging lights in here as well. To the left, you've got a kind of a bay style window if you like. Again, that's where the vast majority of people always set up the dining area. And this looks out onto the front of the house, of course, just where your off-street parking is and out to the road. Okay, so like I said, dining table, four chairs here. You've got a very big single here, like a big chunky single seat and a, a two-seater over here. TV over here, which probably needs replaced, to be honest. It looks pretty old, so you'd probably be replacing that at some point. And you do have the AC unit here, okay? So that's the original AC unit is in here. Um, so again, with all properties on the Torrey, you always got the AC units in the lounges and they were always pre-installed in the bedrooms. So that's why you see some people put them in the bedrooms and some people don't. Of course, not everybody likes AC. Um, some people, it affects their throats and, and other things. So you find that it's kind of almost 50-50 whether people actually put it in the bedrooms or not. But yeah, just a lovely, bright, high ceilings room in here. Really is nice. Right, let's head out. So again, as with all Sabinis, you've got this lovely, great big terrace here. Great size space. You've got a table and four chairs sitting here at the moment. You've got the pergola just at the top. So, you know, you, people can put over the, you know, you can put the awnings in if you want. Um, these guys haven't done that, not seen the need to do that. Um, and then out onto the garden. So again, the Sabina plots are generally around 250 square meters. You've got like a kind of a wide space here that goes up here. I mean, if you wanted to, you could easily put like a shed or something in here. Just put a gate at the end of it there that runs along the, the kind of front line of the villa. Then out into the garden, all lawns. Again, don't forget, Latoya, you do not touch your grass, you do not touch your hedges. It's all done for you. Okay, that's part of your community fee. The community fee on this one is 161 euros per month. Okay, don't forget on Latori, that includes your internet, which is all fiber optic now, running at 50 meg speed and very stable. It also includes your international TV stations and it includes uh, an internal phone line. So if you know anyone else here, you can ring them obviously direct on an internal phone line. If you wanna make a, a reservation at the, the Italian or the Indian restaurant um, or book your golf, you know, that's, that's all here. It's around 12 o'clock here now. As you can still see, it's getting a nice amount of sun here. So let's look at orientations. So, directly ahead this way is north, east, south, west. So what does that mean? Okay, this is now January, end of January. So we're pretty much in the shortest days of the years now. As you can see, it's 12 o'clock and we're still gonna have that for a while yet. I think at least another hour or so, we're gonna have it in the main part of the garden here. Then of course, you've got the roof solarium, which has it all day long anyway. And also in summer, do not forget, the sun is twice as high in the sky. So in terms of villas like this, 
you're pretty much getting it all day anyway, um, regardless of orientation in the summer. Um, in winter, is the only time it differs a little bit. I would say we'll have this to about 1, 1 1.30, then it will start going around the house. And then of course, later in the afternoon, it will come around here because this is west, right? So it will start coming around here and set pretty much directly over here. So you'll get it, you're only losing it kind of mid-afternoon, if you like, for a few hours in the winter. But like I say, in summer, you're gonna have it most of the time. And if you really wanna follow the sun, of course you just go up to the roof solarium, which we'll head up to next. Great size garden. Um, you can, of course, put your own pool in here if you wanted. Um, the vast majority of people will put six by threes in. I have seen bigger, but six, I think six meters by three meters fits just perfect. And again, we can help with anything like that. Um, if you want an idea of kind of quotations or anything like that, just let me know. The location of this villa is the big selling point. It is so, so close to everything. Um, if you want something central, this is perfect. Um, if you were buying it to rent out, absolutely perfect because it's so close to everything. It is literally within a 30 second to a minute walk to everything. Right, let's go back through the house. So, give you a good view of the lounge from this side as well. Back through the double doors into the hallway area. Let's have a look upstairs because, of course, these villas have fantastic roof solariums on these. Right, so as you can see, uh, and you may already well know if you've actually looked at other videos and you know the resort, um, the roof solariums up here are, are fantastic. Great, great size. And of course, there's no apartments around here. There's no um, anything high rise. So your sun is never gonna be blotched. You can see it's gonna be on here pretty much all the time. Um, you can see a tiny little shadow there as you come in, just in that corner there, which will just be the rooftop of the villa there. Um, but you know, in this area here, it's always gonna have plenty of sun here. So if you are sun lovers, you're gonna have plenty of sun up here all day. And like I was saying, summer, you're gonna have it obviously up here and downstairs all day. Fantastic size. You've got a water outlet. You've got electricity outlet as well up here. Um, you can see the exterior unit for the lounge that's in the lounge AC. And of course, there's pre-installation for the exterior units in the, in the bedroom up here as well, if you wanted to put them in. Great size. So it's perfect up here for like a hot tub or something like that. And you can actually see that's the back of the supermarket just there. So like I said, literally you come out of the house, turn left and the supermarket is literally there. So you couldn't be closer to the, all the facilities. Right guys, I hope that's, uh, that's, well, I think that's a pretty good start to the year. Um, this is coming on at 169,995. That's 169,995 euros, which I think for a detached villa in this location is excellent. If you've got any questions at all, let me know. Um, as always, it goes on our YouTube channel first and it will be on our site probably at some point today later on. Any questions, let me know.